back you're watching overdrive now jeep india has launched the fifth generation grand cherokee in india starting at 77.5 lakh rupees it comes with a whole suit of adas functions bookings and deliveries have already begun but would you want to pick this suv over say a bmw or a mercedes especially if you're looking for a luxury suv with all the frills it's time to find out Set your sights on the Jeep Grand Cherokee and the sheer mass of SUV in front of you is endearing in itself. Although it's about as large as its competitors. So much of this sense comes from the blocky but still contemporary styling. Striking touches are the deep 7-slot grille over which the bulged bonnet folds in and the wide slim LED headlamps. Contrasting with this is the big bumper that juts out with its simple but large openings. This fairly functional aesthetic continues to the sides. The large 20-inch wheels with a simple but clean design add to this in their typical Jeep square wheel arches. The rear is much like the front, attractive but not overly flashy with its condensed tail lamps and the contoured bootlet. Now once you've stepped inside the Grand Cherokee, you realize that it is quite a plush and stylish place to spend time in, and that starts with just how the cabin has been designed. And that quite plush feeling continues with the materials and textures that Jeep has used inside the Grand Cherokee. So, for example, this panel here is completely soft touch with this nice stitching. The wood veneer feels really quite nice, actually like wood veneer. And even here, the door panels, this plastic is soft, same with the wood. And all the panels here, they're soft to touch, which means that you really find a sense of plushness inside the cabin. You get five screens in this cabin. To start with, you have this 10.25 inch instrument cluster which is really quite useful it's functional gives you a lot of information clearly then you have this 10.1 inch touch screen which is again quite easy to use there are hard button redundancies for everything so it's very easy to use very functional you have this screen for the passenger where they can play music there's an hdmi port for them to play videos and they can even send navigation data from there to the main screen so it's very useful you have a head up display which gives you just enough information that you need like the speed and the ADAS functions and then you have this a very useful feature for our conditions a mirror for the rear camera now if you are looking at the Jeep Grand Cherokee then invariably the second row will be quite important to you and in that case it's largely good news as well so for example the seat back it's nice well cushioned with the nice firm cushioning so that's not a problem and then you can also recline it to a quite a comfortable angle so again you can get into a nice seating position easily although the seat squab the lower squab maybe could have been longer there's not much under thigh support and that's also due to the floor being slightly high which also makes getting in and out slightly difficult not very difficult but slightly the boot is quite functional too and the space is wide and deep even with a space saver spare wheel tucked underneath the jeep grand cherokee gets level 2 adas The adaptive cruise control is quite easy to engage and control speeds well enough but we found the lane keeping function to be quite erratic. For passive safety you get a crisp set of 360 degree cameras with washers, 8 airbags, brake assist, TPMS and rear seat belt warnings. India is the first to get the right hand drive Jeep Grand Cherokee. Unlike the big V6 and V8 mills in the US spec cars, this version gets the same 2-liter turbo petrol as the Wrangler, putting out 272 PS and 400 Newton meter. Now the outputs may seem healthy, but this small displacement motor needs some pushing and prodding before it's fully up and running. So at say below 2000 RPM, the Jeep Grand Cherokee can sometimes feel a bit hesitant and jerky, which also means that at slow moving traffic or on inclines you might find that progress isn't quite as seamless as it should be another great trait is the refinement inside the active noise cancelling does seem to work the grand cherokee keeps wind and road noise out as well as anything at this price but probably the most reassuring trait of the jeep grand cherokee is its ride quality now as with any jeep there's always a sense of toughness coming through when you're in this suv So of course at low speeds maybe some of the sharper bumps it feels a bit firm but again it's very well damped and then when you pick up speed there's a sense of pliancy the sense of stability that really is quite endearing it really ties in with that sense of solidity that you think of when you think of a Jeep SUV Now we couldn't do any serious off-roading with the Grand Cherokee but we don't think too many owners in India will be quite too keen on this either 
but you get the base quarter track 1 4x4 system. We think Jeep could have packed in the more advanced quarter track 2 system with its low range mode, if not for anything but dinner table bragging rights. Otherwise, you get the off road modes, hill descent, and off road view cameras. Priced at Rs 77.50 lakh, the Jeep Grand Cherokee undercuts its rivals but only by a slim margin. This SUV will always have to contend with not having a three-pointed star or a blue and white propeller on it, but make no mistake, the Jeep Grand Cherokee is an option you cannot ignore in this segment. Well, the Jeep Grand Cherokee has impressed us with its mighty feature list and its extreme off-road capability. But is it an SUV that you would want to put your money on? While you think about that, we'll take a very quick break here on the show. But coming up on the other side, we take you through the highlights.